Hello everybody and welcome once again to another edition of Inside the Headset. Week 8, Game 8, I'm with the head coach of the Seagull Stars, Coach Greg Wyatt. And here you are at 7-0. and And uh, what's the coach of the Stars been doing since uh, fall break and 14 days uh, since the last time you played? I uh, got a couple days off, a little rest and relaxation. and. It's kind of good to get away, refresh you, not just physically, but mentally. Our kids got mentally refreshed. and We came back and practiced two days last week and then came back at it, same routine this week. Good, good. Injury-wise, how are you? Um, we're not bad. We're, we're, you know, we, got some, we got some key injuries that are hurting us that are backups, but uh, as far as the starters are concerned, we're in pretty good shape. Good, good. Gave the other two coaches a chance. I just wanted to ask you about it. You may not know him, mate. Gary Danielson spoke on Fine Bomb yesterday a little bit about the spread offense and the tempo, and I know Saban's been talking about it. You run it, the fans like it, I like it, and everything. Is there anything, do you think that it'll come down to high school level where they'll may slow the tempo down? Do you feel like that may come about, or do you think it'll just, it just isn't even a worry right now? I don't think it's a worry right now. I mean, uh, I don't know why they would slow the tempo down. Uh, you know, when I mean, you play within the rules of the game, you've got 25 seconds to get a snap. What's to make a difference if you snap it after, you know, one second or 15 seconds after they get the ball set? I mean, those guys that are uh, that are complaining about it are the guys that have to face it and the guys that don't want to face it. That's my opinion. But you know, well, you know, Coach McDaniel said, that, you know, you're not personnel driven. And that's the key of what Coach Saban's trying well, to do. Well, I, you know, that's, that's fine. But my, my, my whole deal about it is the offense plays at the same pace. Why are you worried about the defense so much? Exactly. You know, I mean, the offense it's plays at the exact it, same pace. And it's been this way know, for so long. It's not an to... injury issue to me. I think you're right. I think it's more of a personnel issue more than it is anything else. And the way the rules are set up, you, you have if you if you – change personnel, they have to give the defense time to change personnel too. So that rule's already in place. But if you don't change personnel, it doesn't make a difference. You should be able to play. And was, I mean, do you remember years ago, I guess they were talking about where they used to bunch up like 13 on the side and then 11 would run out mm -hmm. and right at the last minute and formulate and try to run. I guess that was done years ago and I'm, I'm sure you remember that. Uh, looking forward tomorrow, you'll go through your walkthrough and prepare for game eight. and. Uh, What's the Seagull Stars got to do to beat the Laverne Wolverines? Got to stop that tailback. Uh, he's a good football player. We've got to be able to move the ball. Um, you know, they're pretty good up front, and, and their secondary is pretty, you know, they're pretty they're solid. You know, they're pretty solid. So, uh, you, you know, we've, we've got to do what we do. Uh, you know, that's pretty cliche, I know, but uh, yeah, we've got to be able to block and tackle. You know, if we can do those two things, I think we can be okay. I mean, it's a big ball game for us in that uh, if we win, I believe we're, we're district champs. So, I mean, there's a lot riding on the line for our kids. And well, yeah, it's, it's not let up time. We've, we've never been in this situation before. So, I mean, there's there, we still got goals out in front of us right now. So Well, and it seems like every week that you're taking, you're you're writing another line in history for, for as far as you're, yeah, you're, you're stroking the pen and the kids yeah, are behind yeah. you saying, go ahead, coach, yeah, stroke it, that, stro that's, help us that's, stroke it. That's part of being a young school, too. You know, I mean, your school's only 10 years old. Those that, some point in time down the road, those things are going to happen. So, you travel over there, right? Yeah, we go to Laverne. All right. Well, and that's at seven o'clock, like everything else. So gather up and follow the stars. That'll be at seven o'clock over at Laverne Wolverines. Stars, Wolverines at seven.